Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. Uh, so today we have another empties video. These are empties for the month of August and there's quite a lot and it's quite heavy as well. So I'm just going to obviously show you uh, all the empties just uh, kind of like divided into categories because that's easier. I think that's easier for me and also probably it's just easier for you to follow as well because there's like so many products. But I'm actually going to start with something that does not necessarily fall into any beauty category and this is a candle uh, this is a, a candle from Bath and Body Works I mean it says white barn on it so I'm not really sure this could be like a sister brand or I don't know uh, this is uh, in scent Tiki Beach uh, which is vanilla mask fresh orchids and toasted coconut and it was just gorgeous and these candles are quite pricey in, here in the UK at least uh, but they're well worth the money uh, they just burn so like evenly you can pretty much burn the whole candle pretty much uh, down to the bottom and they have like massive throw and the scent compositions are amazing so yeah I'm actually really happy uh, with uh, this candle I kind of thought I would share uh, also like in one of those like beauty next I think next and um, Bath and Body Works boxes uh, where I actually discovered uh, Bath and Body Works, uh, they actually include a candle. And I thought it was justified to include this in my empties. Okay, so let's move on to the proper uh, category, like beauty category, which was Bath and Body. And we are going to continue with Bath and Body Works. So I have three products from uh, Japanese Cherry Blossom line, and these are uh, shower gel, body lotion and hand uh, wash. So uh, the shower gel and body lotion have a lot of different scent uh, compared to the hand wash. Uh, these are Japanese cherry blossom, Asian pear and fresh mimosa petals. And the hand wash is uh, cherry blossoms, Asian pear and sandalwood. So slightly more, I'll probably say uh, sexy. I actually preferred uh, the scent of the hand wash, but the difference was not like really massive. So yeah, all these three products I was actually really happy about. I do have quite a lot of uh, Bath & Body Works products now because I did this like massive haul like in June maybe. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> uh, you're probably going to see them quite a lot in the upcoming months. Uh, another product from this category is Rituals, Ritual of Sakura and this is Magic Touch Body Cream. I'm not even sure if this is one of my favorites or not. I mean, I pretty much like anything by Rituals. Their fragrances are like, amazing. Uh, and yeah, I'm actually really happy that they are releasing like three advent calendars this year because uh, I'm just, yeah, excited. <laughs> excited already. Okay, next up we have uh, Sunscreen SPF 30 by uh, eCooking. And this is for your face and your body. So if something is for my face and my body, I use it on my body. That's just the general rule I uh, I use. Uh, it was actually a nice uh, product, not really much to say about it. SPF 30 is like a British summer, summer sunscreen for me. Uh, usually it's not that hot. Uh, I mean, obviously it's probably best to use SPF 50 all the time, but I think SPF 30 uh, in the UK, uh, sometimes it's enough for me. Uh, okay, next up we're going with um, my favorite uh, deodorant ever. This is Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio. I love it. And it smells like the Bum Bum Cream. So, I mean, amazing. Uh, is this everything? Oh, no. There's one more. No, there's two more Bath & Body products. Okay. That's quite a lot this, this time. So, uh, next up we have Kiss the Moon Love After Dark Bath Oil with Robes, Frankincense, Palmarosa and Lang Lang. That's actually really nice uh, kind of bath oil. I do love taking my bath, so obviously that was quite cool. Uh, then we have Espa, the grounding grounding crystals. So that's pretty much like a bath salt. Um, I like it. It gives you very much of this kind of like a spa-like scent. Uh, it was very pleasant, but I don't even know. I, I don't even know how much that costs, but like that lasted me for like two uses. I guess you can just maybe. Uh, kind of use like three or four times but I don't think the scent will be that amazing then so yeah cool product but I'm not really sure if it's actually worth the money you have to pay for it uh, okay so now we're moving on to the hair category so I'm going to start with this little set here this is by IJK uh, and this is legendary uh, hair shampoo and hair conditioner these are actually really nice um, especially their scent is amazing. They just they just smelled so good. 
I would just repurchase them just for the scent really but I probably won't because I have so many like products in general including hair products I mean I got them from FabFitFun uh, if FabFitFun uh, actually offers these um, as like an add-on then maybe I'll repurchase them but I actually have too many products all together so yeah uh, okay this one is quite cool this is Larry King a liquid hair brush conditioner this is supposed to be like a refill, but I think I got it from like uh, Liberty London in one of the collections. I'm guessing, but I think it was that. Um, this is actually really cool. It helps the tangling your hair. So if you have a uh, hair that's actually prone to like being tangled all the time, or maybe just kind of tie it up and don't really think about it too much, and then there's a problem when you have to brush it, like me, uh, then this is actually quite cool. You just wash your hair, apply this conditioner, and it kind of helps. Uh, I mean, obviously, depending on uh, the state of your hair, but yeah, it is actually quite cool. Uh, talking about the tangling, another product, one of my ride or die products, I, this is Schwarzkopf Gliss um, hair conditioner. Uh, obviously, this is like a leave-in conditioner, but uh, I use it just to detangle my hair. Uh, I alternate between this one and the black one. I'm not sure if they're available in UK though. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are like certain scents um, available, but I've never seen the gold or the black one. Uh, but yeah, these are amazing. I'm not sure if there's like a much difference in how they work, but there's a difference in scent and that's what impo was important to me. Uh, this one and the black ones are the, my favorites. So yeah, that's that. Uh, and I think we're done with the hair category that was fast. So we're left with uh, the kind of skincare and then we have some makeup as well today. So cool, okay. So where do we start here? Let's start with this one. Uh, this is the Cyphol Balancing Mist. Uh, I think last month or two months ago, I used up the Juicy Mist from the same brand. And uh, out of these two, uh, the Juicy Mist was my favorite because it smelled nicer. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that scent. This is more like a herbal kind of uh, scent. And the other one was a little bit like fruitier, uh, but they're both really nice. Uh, but if I were to choose one, I would just go for the Juicy one. Okay, so next up, let's do the ampules here. So we have two sets. Uh, this one was uh, by Babor, and this is Repair Ampule Concentrates, Multivitamin Strengthening and Protection. And we have seven of those here. We had, because obviously it's gone now. Uh, and these are actually really nice. These were really nice ampules. I think there are Babor Advent calendars like every year with just ampules. I'm not really sure if that's actually worth the money, but these were actually really nice. So I would definitely like to try some more of the products. And then we have 111 Skin and these are the hydrating ampules. Yeah, these are actually really lovely. The formula was a little bit more like watery uh, compared to like a classic uh, hyaluronic acid. So it, um, uh, it just like sink in like quickly. So I really like that. Uh, but the thing is like, would I really pay that much money for um, hydrating uh, ampules? I'm not really sure if they were like vitamin, like vitamin A or vitamin C, then maybe with hydration, I have a little bit of a problem with that. Um, but they were actually really good. Uh, and if I could buy them in a good price then maybe, but not necessarily paying the full price. I'm not even sure what the full price is, but this is one 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 skin. So it's not cheap for sure. Okay, uh, next up we're going to talk about face masks maybe? Okay, let's do face masks. So first we have Perlis Pumpkin and Ginger Detoxifying Charcoal Mask. And this one was so good. I mean, my skin does not really need that much like detoxifying or clarifying, but I do use a fake tan and obviously uh, if you do then I guess you need to cleanse your skin properly here and there and this was actually really lovely this is actually suitable for sensitive skin as well uh, it was quite gentle and it smelled amazing so that was really good uh, another of my favorite face masks ever this is Omorovica deep cleansing mask another cleansing one uh, as I said I don't really cleanse my skin that often but uh, it's just a coincidence i kind of finished these two in the same month but that doesn't really mean i was like 
over cleansing or anything. Next up, we have some Elemis, and this is Papaya Enzyme Peel Enzymatic Cream Exfoliator. This is perfect if you have sensitive skin and if you don't really tolerate um, glycolic or even lactic acid that well. Uh, this is great because it's quite gentle, but it does the job and I really love it. And it smells gorgeous as well. So, I mean, yeah, what's not to love about it? Okay, so let's talk about this one now here. This is Mokosh um, Smoothing and Cleansing Face Mask with Fig and Charcoal. Uh, for some reason, it smells like marzipan. I don't know why, but it smelled gorgeous. Uh, this is actually a Polish brand and I am actually planning to do... Uh, I mean, I've done that already, okay? I've purchased like so many kind of polished products from independent brands. And these products are, let's say, underway now. Uh, I'm expecting to receive them uh, in the beginning of September. So I'm going to show you what I purchased and I'm super excited, super excited. Anyway, uh, this is one of those brands I'm going to explore a little bit more um, in this whole. Uh, Mokosh in a Polish Old Faith was a mother goddess. So I really love the idea of that name. Uh, this product though, uh, this is supposed to be like a smoothing and cleansing face mask, but it was a little bit like too scrubby for me. This was like a, uh, like a proper kind of scrub. Uh, and uh, I couldn't really use it on my face, but I did use it on my body and I really loved it. And uh, as I said, it smells gorgeous. So yeah. That was actually quite cool. And if you want to see my Polish cosmetics haul, keep your eyes peeled, it's coming soon. Okay, next up we have Tata Harper. This is Regenerating Cleanser, uh, Daily Exfoliating Treatment. I really like that one. So this is like a face uh, cleansing uh, product. It has uh, a little bit of those like scrubby parts as well, but I wouldn't really say that it's like a proper exfoliator. It's very gentle and it smells gorgeous. It has like almost like a orangey scent really lovely so yeah that was it was a good one next up we have an eye cream by ceramidine um brightening and moisturizing eye cream by dr jart and this one was gorgeous i really loved uh, everything about this cream pretty much uh, the formula how it worked uh, how gentle it was i do tend to have like sensitive eye areas so this was perfect for me because it was very uh very gentle and yeah a good one so I think, you know, so far uh, I'm pretty happy with most of the products I got here. Uh, there will be some doubts, or at least one that I can see here, but uh, yeah, so stay put. Uh, next product, Dr. Seba uh, Serum Repair Hyaluronic Acid, Skin Hydrating and Repairing Serum, uh, so that's that. Uh, I really like the serum, uh, it's hydrating, it has some peptides in it, uh, apart from like hyaluronic acid. Um, it's nice, but to be honest, I'm not going to rave about like hyaluronic acid product because I don't really see like that much difference to justify the price difference between them, if you know what I mean. I mean, this one is not like particularly expensive compared to like, let's say Dr. Barbara Sturm or the Irene Forte um, uh, hyaluronic acid serum. Uh, but yeah, still, I mean, it was a good one nothing to write home about i guess okay so the last skincare product is by dr aj sternum this is the cree protect elixir daily morning serum so that's that and i really enjoy that product uh to be honest i've tried like so many serums in my life that it's so difficult for me to like be swept off my feet uh with something but uh this is this was good this was good. It wasn't mind blowing, but it was good. Uh, so yeah, that's all I have to say. And then we're just moving to makeup category. I mean, this one, I'm not really sure if this is like makeup. It might be still skincare. I don't know. This is Dr. Agustinus Bader, the lip balm. I loved it. It was so good. I really hope that this is going to be in one of the advent calendars this year. I'm really hoping. Such a great uh, lip balm. It was just so nice on your lips. Not sticky, nothing like that. It was just super smooth and like really kind of like comforting. So I really love that one. And the packaging is actually pretty as well. So yeah. Uh, okay, let's talk about the dad in this uh, month's box because I don't really want to fi finish on a bad note. So yeah, this is that. So that's uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I really love this brand, but not this product. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. And as much as I don't really mind the formula of the concealer, like the, the concealer itself, it was quite all right. The packaging, 
I mean, the applicator thing, it's just, look what happened to this. I don't know if you can see, but it's just like all, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks awful but also like even um before it actually broke uh it wasn't my favorite applicator form it was just a little bit like meh and it was all dirty and no i'm not really happy with this product at all uh yeah no i'm not going to repurchase for sure <laughs> Uh, so we're going to finish with like two products I actually really liked. Um, uh, this one is uh, Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is my favorite, like hands down my favorite uh, brow setting uh, product. Uh, and then we have a mascara, Iconic London. Uh, this is, I think this is triple triple thread mascara yeah and uh, this coming from me is a big thing you know because you know i i'm really picky when it comes to my mascaras uh with my short and straight lashes i kind of need something proper and this one is actually doing a great job so this is the brush and i did not really expect much uh, looking at it because i was like um, is it supposed to do anything with my lashes but it does and this is a perfect mascara for a daily use uh, as well because it doesn't really give you those like fake eyelashes vibe uh but it's actually gorgeous so yeah uh very rare from me i usually dislike my mascaras or because they don't really do the job that i expect from them but this one definitely does okay so that was the last product let me know what you think about the products i've used up have you tried any of those um do you have any opinion at all about um uh, these products i would love to know thank you very much for watching for more beauty related content check those videos here i'm going to see you very soon take care bye